This has turned out to be one hell of a long day. I don't feel like I'm cheating at all to be getting a hotel. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. Okay, so today we're just going to take a little run on the bike. We're going to go, uh, going to find, see if we can find a laundromat. I know I saw a sign for one, so we'll go do that. Yeah, I wish the signage was just a little bit better here. But now that I know the place, and it's like, it's not too bad. I'll have to see if we'll get in a bundle of wood, maybe later. Quiet here today. End of summer. You know, that boat's dropping a lot of water. I wonder if he's taking bad stuff from lake to lake. Closed. Well, shit. If I can't get laundry done, well, at least I've got some other things to do. I first put this wiring harnessed together in 2018. Now, especially this year, I've had some problems and I've had to wiggle the plugs a lot to make connection. So I figured it's time to just upgrade the plugs. It's a five pin flat system. While rewiring it, I'm staggering the joints. This will make it a smaller and neater bundle when I actually get it all taped together. But today I'll end up with a really good new plug on the, on the motorcycle and also on the trailer. I should have done this earlier this year, but I just did not have the time. I'm taking advantage of an electric site this weekend. So I get the connection done on the bike first, and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the trailer end. Well, it's uh, day 73 on the road. Day, well, the last night was night, night 62, camping in the midway. The Black Donald campground near Renfrew. It's been very nice being here. Uh, breaking down today and heading, heading towards the States. Uh, I can either do a really short day or semi short day and another short day or a really long day. We'll see we'll see what the weather, how I feel, um, and how quickly I get torn down. So I've got to just clean up a couple of things. Uh, 
emails and stuff like that, using my phone as a as a hotspot. That could get very expensive for me in the States. So I'm juggling that right now. Uh, I've got uh, I've got just about another month on the road, four weeks. Uh, before I'll be back in Newfoundland. So uh, yeah, it's it's been a blast so far and now now today I am running on roads that I have not ridden before but into an area that I do know and then on the way to Sault Ste. Marie I, I know that area quite well uh, but once I hit Sault Ste. Marie once I cross the border it is all totally foreign lands and uh, who knows what I'm gonna find so um, that's what I'm hoping to do uh, finances wise it's gonna be it's gonna be tight um, but you know what, my whole life, uh, I've lived paycheck to paycheck, I think, I think, so it will be tight. Um, but I am, uh, getting on my way, uh, just to clean up a few things, having coffee. All right, here's to, uh, morning 62, waking up in the Minimate. Okay, this was quite a decent campsite. Had three of us on it for most of the nights. And uh, one left yesterday. Uh, Robert's hanging around for the day, chilling out. And uh, I'm going to head towards at least Huntsville for the night. I am not sure how far I'm going to go in the end. Black Donald was reasonable. Four nights, $80 including tax. And uh, we're leaving here with 17,365 kilometers on the bike. Two point three kilometers in on the dirt, which is you know it's not untypical. Get an awful lot of campgrounds where you've got the leading road is going to be dirt. So I was way too ambitious today in my original planning, thinking I was going to go from uh, here to shoot. Provincial Park. Uh, that would have been about a seven and a half hour ride. Now, I'm leaving here late. It's uh, almost 11.30 in the morning. I had been pushing for to leave at 10, um, but I had to answer some emails. I had a lot of equipment out. And of course, after four nights in one place, you, uh, you're you not as compact as you were to begin with. So, but I've got everything. And uh, I'm gassed up. I'm good for at least two to three hours riding. Don't need anything to eat for a while. I've got water. Now, if the roads are quicker than uh, what my GPS is telling me, I, heaven knows, I could be in... I could certainly be in uh, Huntsville before 3 o'clock. That's what we're going to shoot for. But. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. My decision will also be based on weather, and I think I'm running into some pretty heavy rain. I might have to put on uh, the overpants. Uh, I probably almost should have brought them out and put them on now. 
Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how far we get before it gets, starts to get wet. Of course, one of the problems with a lot of the secondary roads is there's no place to safely pull off. Shoulders on this bike are usually too loose and uh, and they're not really, really wide. Uh, you know, we've already knocked the bike over once in Nova Scotia because of a soft shoulder. Don't want to do that again. Not as much traffic here. At least the roads I'll be on. And then, uh, and then like gas, small gas stations and restaurants and things, they're going to be few and far between as well. But now I'm going to be traveling on some road I have not traveled on, I think. Um, because when I came up, I came up a slightly different way. So it's been kind of fun being being in Calaboogie and around the Calaboogie area. Uh, saw a huge number of people who I knew from before, and then uh, I met some new ones. Always good. If you see a fellow motorcyclist pulled over at the side of the road, you should always check and see that they're okay. You just stretching? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Set? Uh, today I'm going at least as far as Huntsville and we'll see. Might. Uh, I originally thought I was going to get as far as, as Chutes Provincial Park, but I think that's pushing it. I'll, I'll see how I feel and what the weather's like. Yeah, I just came across that way. The road here is super. Yeah, I, I came, I've come over that over the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? St. John's? Newfoundland, Cornerbrook. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know a guy down there named Mike Murren, would you? Mike Murren. He's a biker? St. John's? No, St. John's crowd I only know very few of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's running good? Yeah, she needs some work. It's got 217,000 kilometers on it. Whoa. So this winter, it's, I've got to build, rebuild the calipers and stuff like that. But the engine, yeah, the engine's just solid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, like 17 years old. Yep. It'll go forever. Yep. Yep. Just change the fluids. Change the tires. That's right. That's <laughs> right. All right. Have a good day. It's a warm day, a mix of sun and cloud to start off with, and I'm going to enjoy these roads, even pulling the trailer. I end up behind a small group of sports bikes, and I just tag along with them for, I think it was about 45 minutes. Just having fun. When I see they're turning another way, I pull up close enough that I can give them a little bit of a nod and a wave. A couple of guys, a couple of girls. I really do like seeing women out on their own motorcycles. Great old barn. So, my intention at this moment is only to go as far as Huntsville. I'd probably then go to Arrowhead Provincial Park. But that's not a very long day. Huntsville, 157, all right. A convenient 
picnic spot shows up just about the right time to stretch the legs, hit the water bottle, and change camera batteries. Okay, perfect time for the little hydration stop and dehydration stop, if you know what I mean. Uh. We're still a ways away from Huntsville. But we might not be too far away from a coffee. Hopefully there's a coffee place in Whitney. I think that's what it's called. And then we have to make a decision on how far we're going today. Sometimes you can't have a set, set plan. Now, going to Massey and staying at Chutes Provincial Park is a bit of a long haul. It's at least another four hours past uh, Huntsville. But, I should be in rain by then. So part of me is going, okay, if I stop in Huntsville and go to Arrowhead, Arrowhead Park, I'm gonna get in Huntsville probably about three o'clock, 3.30 at the latest. I'll have to look at the weather and see how I feel. But I've only got another three and a half hours to get to shoots. I could do that. But if it's gonna rain the whole time, maybe I don't wanna do that. Now, the two, if I stopped at Arrowhead and at, uh, at shoots, each one of those places, so you know, those are two reasonable days, you know, 300 kilometer days or so. If I stop at both those places, they're provincial parks. Here in Ontario, that's going to be at least $42 with the tax. Non-electric site. Well, 42 times 2 is 85, and I know a motel in Thessalon that is only going to cost, which will cost me less than $100 Canadian, or at least that's what it was. So I could go a little bit further today, and... have a motel tonight for not much more than if I was to stay at two provincial parks and do two short days. This would almost catch me up on my mileage. So it's like, yeah, it's not too, too bad. Now I'm following this truck far too close. We're around six, 70 kilometers an hour. 21 to Whitney, 130 to 130 to uh, Huntsville. Okay. Well, we'll see if there's a good coffee place in Whitney. If there isn't, you know, certainly we can have coffee in Huntsville and then make up one's mind.
Okay, that pass had nothing to do with the fact that he wasn't going at decent speed. It wasn't a pass that I want to go faster, no. That pass was because I want to see the road ahead of me. I don't want it obstructed by a truck. If something's in the road and he makes a little swerve or divot, well, I might not catch that in time. You know, there might be something on the road that he tries to get around, or being a big truck, there's something he doesn't bother getting around. So, uh, so it's right in my path. A lot of times, you know, we pass someone who's going pretty well the same speed as we are, and we're doing it just so we can see out ahead of us. That's what it's all about. We need to see a clear road ahead of us. We have very little chance if we hit something on the road. Now, where that changes is if we get stuck at night or late evening going through areas that have got lots of deer or moose. In that case, we want a truck ahead of us to sort of clear the path. Doesn't mean that something's not going to jump over right after they've gone through, but chances are, at least if there's something on the road, and it'll be clear by the time you get there. Restaurant, all right. It's not just time for coffee. I need a little lunch too, and today it ends up being potato bacon soup for the second time on this trip. Very tasty. And then it's time to get on the road for that last bit, for that last hour into Huntsville, mostly through Algonquin Park. Although fairly overcast, it really has been a warm day. And for the last half hour, I've been thinking really seriously about ice cream.
while enjoying my ice cream, I'm checking the weather, looking at the radar map, and trying to figure out really what am I going to do. So I'm in Huntsville, and I could stay at the park here, which would probably be the absolute smartest thing. Get my laundry done. I don't always do the smartest thing, though. I would like to be pretty well on schedule again, and I would lose a lot more time if I stop here. This could add another four hours of riding to my day, but it's only mid-afternoon. According to how I'm reading it though, I'm actually going to be in not a lot of rain, but I will be in rain. The worst of it is not going to be in my area, if I read it correctly. And it's also heading my way and I'm heading towards it. I'm committing myself to some night driving is what I'm doing right now, which is what I was trying to keep from doing. Got to get up in the morning and on the move much earlier. At least it's a warm rain! If I had decided to go to Arrowhead Park, I would be setting up camp in this rain. I misread this. This is torrential. Yeah. I don't want to be out in this. It looks like I'm committed now. As I get past Sudbury, the road is starting to dry up a little bit. There's no longer any rain on my windshield, and I'm dying for a coffee. I do stop for a coffee, a small bite to eat. I know I'm gonna have to gas up, but I'm kinda wanting to, to race the night. Of course you can try to race the night, but you very rarely beat it. Okay, we've got another hour. We've got another hour and a half, maybe, to get to our accommodations.
I know this is part of the Trans Canada, but this whole section here is just two lane highway with lots of traffic. It's not overly bad tonight. I'm heading towards Iron Bridge. I know of a couple of reasonable motels there. One of them is full, but the red top motor in has got a room. It's been a long day. Some of the ride was really enjoyable. Some of the ride in the rain was not quite so enjoyable. 11 hours on the bike today. I'm really happy to end up pulling into a place where I can get a shower. I am feeling and looking so bedraggled. I'm betting that if I hadn't have booked this with Expedia when I had my last coffee, they probably would have turned me away. Okay, the Red Top Motel in Iron Ridge. It's uh, definitely a 50s place but you know what that's just fine by me <laughs> <laughs> 